Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about different end licks. So, a bit like with our, our turnarounds, there are kind of a handful of, of stock blues ending licks that you hear everyone use, um, and, and they're all things that can be adapted and embellished to, to come up with you know, unlimited variations on them. So I've drawn out four of, of the most kind of common uh, end licks that you will hear. We're going to start with this one. I'm using a C harp still, by the way. So I think of this one as being the, the kind of signature Sonny Boy Williamson ending. Uh, this is the lick he would go to most of the time when he wanted to end a song. So we're starting on six blow, then five blow, four draw, four blow. And I'm tongue slapping every one of those. Then I'm, we're going to go to the three draw half step and release to the three draw. And I'm back to a pucker again on the three draw. And, and on the three draw bend. So I'm just tongue slapping until I get to the four blow and then I'm going back to a pucker to play that bend and release. And I'm articulating that bend and release on the three with a do ah. Okay, so do on the bend and ah as I let it up. And then we're gonna jump down to one draw, then two draw, and then open up into a chord. So one, two, and three draw. So the whole of the end lick goes like this. Okay, let's look at end lick number two. So this is something that I heard Lester Butler of the, the Red Devils use. But again, it's, it's quite a stock sounding lick. You'll hear a lot of blues endings that are pretty similar to this. So we're starting off by going up the blues scale. So up to that four draw is just a straight blues scale run. So we've got two draw, three draw half step, four blow, four draw bend, four draw. And then we're gonna give it a little major twist by going to the five blow. So five blow is not in the blues scale, but it is in our major pentatonic, it's, it's the major sixth. Uh, and then we're going back to the four draw. And then I'm going to tongue slap the six blow. Now, why am I tongue slapping the six blow there? Well, you don't have to, but um, number one, it gives that note more impact, more punch. And two, it kind of makes it a little bit easier jumping from four to six. So if I just played both of those notes puckered, it's a little bit of a jump from four to six. But if you go into a, a tongue block as you hit the six blow, you can kind of stay where you are, just open up a little bit and put the tongue down. And then for the last hits here, we go into our octave or tongue split shape. So we're going to go draw one and four, blow two and five, then draw two and five. And I'm gonna put a tongue flutter on that last two and five draw. So I'm going la 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 la, moving my tongue on and off. Now if you struggle with the tongue flutters, you can achieve a similar kind of effect by just adding like a throat vibrato <laughs> to that two and five split. So that's with the throat vibrato. That's with the tongue flutter. So they are a, a bit of a different sound, but both achieve more or less the, the same kind of um, effect. So the whole of this ending goes like this. OK, 
Okay, let's move on to the next one. So this is a, a kind of minor pentatonic end lick using octaves or, or tongue splits. <laughs> Now, you'll quite often hear harp players go to these octaves or tongue splits for the, the end lick of a song, and there's a good reason for that. Um, if you're the, the band leader and you're taking the, you know, taking the song out by soloing to the, to the end, then you want to send a clear message to the rest of the band that this is the end. <laughs> so... By using these octaves, you can really, you know, get a, a very punchy, <laughs> very punchy, assertive kind of sound with octaves. So it's it's kind of giving a clear message. This is the end to the rest of the band. And if you combine that with some eye contact or putting a hand in the air, then hopefully no one's going to miss the cue. So we're coming down a minor pentatonic scale here. Remember, minor pentatonic is just the blues scale, but leaving out the four bend. So we're going. So three and six blow, two and five draw, one and four draw, back to two and five draw, back to one and four draw, one and four blow. Then continuing down the scale in single notes, so I'm going back to a pucker here. So three half step, two draw. And this time for the, the last three notes, I'm going to go one draw, two draw, two draw whole step bend. And I'm adding some jaw vibrato to that last bend. So I'm getting the, the bend, holding it with my tongue and throat, and then just moving my jaw up and down. Okay, the next end lick is a major pentatonic one, again using these octaves. So it sounds like this. So we're just hitting three and six blow twice, two and five blow twice. So again, very kind of punchy, very assertive. And then we're coming up part of the major pentatonic scale, still in octaves. So one and four draw, two and five blow, three and six blow. And then this time I'm just gonna end on the root note, on the two draw. And for added impact, I'm using the draw string to close in around that two draw and I'm putting a bit of throat vibrato on it too just to help it kind of fizzle out so now again let's look at what all these end licks have in common so I've kind of split them into two columns like this because they all consist of some kind of run, either ascending or descending, and then these these final kind of usually three notes um, at the very end. So again, you could mix and match these columns. So you could use the, the first bit from the Sunny Boy lick and the second bit from the Lester Butler lick, for example. Or you could use the first bit from the Lester Butler one and the second bit from the minor pentatonic one. So they're all interchangeable. Now, if you look at the very last note on all of these, you can see they all end either on the root note or the flat seven. So that first one is ending on the root chord, so one, two, and three draw. And the, the, the very last one there is ending on the root note, the two draw. So it's up to you whether you want to play that, that root as just a, a single note or a chord. Okay, 
And then the other two there are ending on the flat seven. So we've got the draw two and five split. So that draw five is our flat seven, which has given us more of this kind of unresolved sound. And the, the minor pentatonic uh, lick there is ending with the draw two whole step bend, which also is, is a flat seven. So pretty much every single blues song, if you listen to the, the last hit of the ending, they will always end either on the root note or root chord or on that, that flat seven. So the root note will give you a resolved ending. And the flat seven in draw two whole step or draw five will give you more of an unresolved ending. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a free sample taken from week nine of my 10 week ultimate blues harmonica soloist course. For more information about the course, watch this video here or click the link below to sign up. Thanks for watching.